Hi, welcome to Factoro 0.17 with Bentham. Hello. Bentham, everything looks so new and different. I know, it's all shiny and, and dark grey with pointy corners. I mean, that's slightly rounded, right? For safety reasons. We don't need safety here. The True. buttons are rounded. The boxes are pointy, and the and if you mouse over the buttons, they have nice like highlights, and clicking on them makes them sink into the the panels and stuff. And turn it on because always do that. There's a button for it now. Oh god, there are so many things. Mhm. Mm What's toggling alt mode do? The same thing alt has always done. Oh. Receiving incoming transmission. Okay, it but just doesn't fancy. A button for it because. Thank you, Compact Getty. You should always have that on. Yeah. I don't know why there's yeah, a button, there's because cut, I always want it on. Cut and paste and copy and undo. Uh, what? Blueprints are on here. The deconstruction planner is on here. And the upgrade planner is now a thing that exists. As oh, well God. As toggling, uh, features of power suits for later in the game. Oh, wow. Oh, um, right. Also, to-do list should really be a button in this panel, because that's the point of this panel. Why is to-do list still in the top corner? I, I imagine it just hasn't... It's just been updated with this very simple, like, yeah, stuff no, no, rather they've, than being... They've made all the mods so that they just work in, uh... So that they just work without breaking, but they should... The point of this is that we can put mods in this now. In fact, are there any? Oh, there's none here. Okay. I was wondering, because some of them might already have been integrated, mm. if people are quick. But yeah, so... here we are. Uh, first things first. Hit escape. Go to settings. Okay. Go to interface. Yep. Um, at the bottom of all this, tick pick ghost item if no items are available. When selecting a buildable item from your quick bar or when using the pipette tool, if you have no item for that, a ghost will be placed by the... Ooh. Uh, then turn active quick bars up to four. Active quick bar. And then you'll have more quick bars and more is always better. Ah! And then I think put train visualization length up to 12. I'm not quite 100% understood on how that works but i think turning that up is good how many wagons should be visualized on the right what yeah and okay. i'm like more is always better the more i can see the bigger trains i can check the the positioning of huh i don't think anything else is important right now okay that i remember but yeah those three settings are just the turn these on immediately settings for me now okay uh let's play the game where's the stuff uh, north up this. here. Uh, there there's no pickaxe now. You just mine with your hands. Oh, yes, that's what I've always done. I've hit stone with my hands. It's like Minecraft. Well, the the, the funny thing is that the, getting rid of the pickaxe is to, supposed to be taking us away from Minecraft because originally it was put in just because it was the done thing in in like resource gathering in games at the time. You just you if you want to gather ore, you put a pickaxe in. And then they're like, wait, that's a terrible idea. And it was a pretty terrible idea. And now uh, there's an upgrade to make you mine quicker later on in the game. I got so more furnaces. Like the pickaxe is still here. That one says rip the pickaxe, but there is now a research that is steel pickaxe. I mean, there was before, but it still exists, so... It just speeds up your mining, right? Yeah. So the, the pickaxe isn't dead. It just exists in our hearts now. Pickaxe existing in people's hearts is probably not a healthy concept. Seems like it might impede blood flow. Okay, I've got some uh, iron production going. Hey, it's Lowry. You're manually mining coal. You have a mining drill in your inventory. Uh, I was going to save it, but okay, yeah. Well, why... Why would you save one of the two machines we have instead of using it? Well, are you going to set up yours so that they, like, form a sympathy circle? I'm making iron so I can make another mining drill that can form the circle. Well, then why did I put down mine? So that we have two. We need two. Oh, they've changed the look of Stone. wooden chests. Yep, it's all snazzy and new. I will grab some stone. So the quick bars have changed now. Previously, they were like an extension of your inventory where they operated as their own inventory slots. You would put things in. 
now they refer to spots in your inventory and your inventory is all in one place. <gasps> I placed a ghost. I like and how yeah, when you, you do that. that, you've got like a little ghost cursor. That's cute. Yeah, there's a little ghost symbol. There we go. We have the loop. The loop is made. And I'm going to go set up mining of stone. With the wooden crate that I stole from you. Ah! How dare you? That was my favorite wooden crate. It was your only wooden crate, which means that is correct. Exactly. Uh, but also, if you click on one of the numbers on your quick bar, it opens up a quick bar menu where there are even more quick bars. I, I can't cope with that. You can have ten different ones. I've already, like, I did a test thing where I just started setting up a mock-up quick bar arrangement, and I filled nine of the ten. We might need more quick bars. I shouldn't have left behind the stone miner. I now need stone. Ha. Huh. Oh god, what am I even looking for now? I'm so confused. What are you doing? You're just standing in. How do, how do I copper. how do I remove something from my quick bar? Oh, uh, click, middle mouse button. Oh, middle mouse button. Okay. Yeah, you can swap out all the quick bars as you like, and so I basically just set them up with different roles. So I'll have like a starting game bar, and then uh, like an oil bar and a train bar, and just swap them out as needed for different projects. Do they stick around between different games? Uh, no, you have to set them up every time. Okay. Um, the, the, the fact they've changed the look of things is just completely throwing me off. Yeah, it does take a little bit of time to get used to. Everything feels a little bit clunky for a while, but then that's because it would have felt clunky when you started playing Factorio anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start setting up the bars. So we'll make just basic stuff here. You know, we'll start with belts. We'll do belts first. I want to make a standard arrangement between the different ones, so when I've got a... We were looking for a standard oh, mini arrangement. Loaders. What is this about? Mini Why loader. five of them? Fast mini loader, express, filter, fast filter, express, filter. Oh, the other one's over there. Okay, there are six. They're weird and scary, and I'm going to just pretend they don't exist. Oh, they just transfer a belt speed. In a straight, linear fashion. But they're really expensive. Uh, generally, you only really need them for stuff like offloading trains or unloading trains really quick. I wouldn't worry about them otherwise. Starting things. Queue up steam engine stuff for when I need that. Assembler, power pole. Doop, 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 oh, I forgot, doop. actually. Hold on. Whoops. What, putting down lights so people can see? No, not that. But we should do that. But we don't have lights yet. We yeah, that's what I was thinking. I missed the actual core things of, of the starting game of the Stone Furnace and the Basic Miner. There we go. Oh. Those are the first things I did. There we go. I've set up my hotbar. There we go. It's all working now. People want trains. It's It's... It's well, like of course. 10 minutes in, though. Yeah, it doesn't take too long. What's the? Let me look at the achievements. I always forget how long it is. Yeah, there's a, there's an achievement for building a lo locomotive within the first 90 minutes of a game. And I've done that before, but I haven't apparently got it this time. I'm going to upgrade our minor loop. To a major loop? Yes. That is how that works. Do you think we need to expand much more from here? By the way, this is what you can do a sneak through. Oh, 
Nah, wah, wah. I think you might be able to do this anyway. Nah, wah, 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 wah. nah. I nah, think you, wah, wah. Could, you could go through this normally and this normally, but you couldn't go through this normally, maybe? I'm not even sure. Uh, how many more of these do we need to do before we can move on to electric, in your opinion? Uh, well, we can start an electric whenever we like, really. Yeah, but there's an optimal point, and I don't know where that is. I don't know what it is either. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought this is one thing like you were really like an expert at. It's like optimal. Like... Well, optimal like setups, but not like timings for speedruns. Oh, I don't yeah. Do that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, you and timing I, is. I play Factorio slowly. Yeah, you and timing is interesting. I I savor Factorio. Sure. I'm gonna have a power quick bar. Why am I getting excited about this? <laughs> yeah, the stone's doing. There's only eight in there. I see you've been making use of the stone. But I just made the power stuff, so. Are you making the boiler and things? Yeah, I've got them now. I'm placing them. I. Uh, I do you want to run power vertically or horizontally? Uh, I'd say vertically, vertically, back up towards where we are, and then I, I can run a coal line down it, and it'll use slightly less belts. Okay. I'll spend a bit of time building some more iron miners while you work on that, because we're not quite there for uh, spamming a bunch of belts everywhere. Do -do -do. Why are talking about Judge Dredd in my chat. What? <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to chat for like the last twenty minutes. I mean, someone has to and judge Dredd. He's a terrible yeah. person. Apparently, the Sniper Elite people have acquired the rights to Judge Dredd. Maybe. Oh, really? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, gonna make sure all the current miners have got. Uh, do, 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 do. When is this new update going to happen? Who said that? When someone in my chat, or did it? Uh, did it? And my mind hasn't updated yet. Oh, yeah, oh, it's right. it's up. Hang on, I'm gonna. Uh, do I have link privileges in your chat? Uh, if you don't, someone should permit you. I have made a video years ago about how to update Factorial because nobody knows. I'm going I know. to link it. I updated Factoria. Yeah, you, you managed it. I just, YouTubers always know how to update it because it's the same way you update any... Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Are you okay? I have I had like a two hours of hiccups earlier and now I can't do anything with my lungs that's more than just standard shallow breathing. Oh, okay. Because otherwise it, it goes into like a little bit of a tizzy. Yeah, God damn it, I've started hiccuping people, again! After tons of people asking me how the how to update Factorio, I just made a video about it and it's got 17,000 views. There, I've linked how to update Factorio. If you don't know how, go watch that. I'll also okay, link now it we need to ban you because you did promotion in the chat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a PSA, it's useful. God damn it! Also, I talked for like two minutes about what I was going to do before I did it, and you didn't say anything. Uh, I was busy. <laughs> I can I can see. Yep. <sighs> I think it might be better to start hearing my own video play on, on my stream. No, I managed to stop it. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Gonna, I'm just going to put this in my chat as well. Everyone, you means you can spam uh, the blame emote? Blame Ben. There, that's how you, you played the game. The update is out and has been for days. There we go. <gasps> they made belts look different. Is that like a Oh yeah, they're on shadow? a raised uh, yeah. set of runners now. Interesting. 
those hiccups sound like the worst kind of hiccup. I have a very <laughs> strong diaphragm, so when I get hiccups, it's very rare, but when it happens, they are powerful, and there's no exception. Yeah, like, I, I've had those from time to time. I, I, I think everyone is feeling that right now. It's like when you see someone get kicked in the nuts, you're like, oh no, oh, I feel that pain. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, I was walking around the shop earlier and I was just going hiccup all the way. <laughs> the hiccups that like tear at your lungs. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm just oh, trying scary. I, I, I should think of a funny joke for that, but nothing's coming to mind right now. <laughs> I think he's scared for his life with these hiccups right now. Just disappointed in my life choices. <clears throat> Everything you've done has led to this moment. I okay. just waiting on really getting a, a lot more iron now. Right, I've got a bunch of belts being made. Gonna oh. start running coal. Oh, you've already got a bunch of made yourself. Okay, that's where all the iron was going. <laughs> yeah, I've been going up and did you not see me? I've been really close to you just gr grabbing iron for like the last half hour. I saw you grabbing iron, but I was like, oh god, he must be making a lot of steam engines. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. Oh, damn it. The worst. Nanon! Ten pound tip! Did that fix the hiccups? No! <laughs> but thank you very much for trying. God damn it. Like, it, it, they're so violent, it sounds like you're about to throw up. <sighs> Every time I try and get uh, iron from here, you've just been by and taken it all already. Uh, I would say I'm sorry. You're making electric miners to deliver the initial coal to the power system. Well, no. I imagine we'll jumpstart it with normal, but... Okay, I will jumpstart. I also need to deliver the electricity back up. For God's sake! This is the worst. Have you got some wood? Uh, a bit, yeah. At the risk of sounding lewd, can you give me your wood? Oh dear. The first blog, 20 pounds, did someone say dear. scary E, enter Daka L, enter Daka R. Thank you very much, the first blog. I was going to say it almost worked, but you know, I'm still hiccuping. Welcome to the Empire. And Shanghai Kid, welcome to the Empire! I do not know what your rank is now, because you've been subscribed before, but thank you. Ah. Uh, uh, nice work, YouTube Automod. Receiving incoming transmission. YouTube Automod sometimes <laughs> is really on the ball, funnily enough. Oh, what did it do? The the guy didn't even swear or anything. Oh. And it was like, nah, get get rid of it. It was sarcasm. Put YouTube in. He said the word YouTube in his uh, <laughs> comments, and I think YouTube flags that. Yes, you should not talk about YouTube because it's normally derogatory. A reason I think if it's like if you say YouTube channel, it assumes that you're advertising your own channel and flags it, and it's great. I'm not sure if that's great or just God damn it, YouTube. Well, the fun funny thing is that generally it's correct. I, I guess. <laughs> okay, that should uh jump start. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you look at the paragraph now, it uh, they've overhauled how it looks, and it's got like uh, it's got like the units actually on the side now. They've labeled oh. their axes so that they're going to get full marks now. Uh, um, mm, it says K, etc. It doesn't say the the unit. But yeah, they, they're uh, actually they, they're they're going to get like eight out of ten marks for, uh, for that. Graph. I don't know. It hasn't got a title. It hasn't got a, a legend. Oh yeah, there's no title. Yeah. It hasn't got the axis units, it's got... No, no, they, they have titles, consumption and production. <laughs> oh, that's true, that's true. They do have titles, that's fine. Uh, you know, they'll get 7 out of 10, maybe, at best. 
Yeah, they now um, previously only went up to 50 hours. They now go up to 250 and 1,000 hours if you have a factory running that long. Fuzzy says, why was she not invited to our Factorio Fest? Who, where, what? Fuzz Fuzzy says, why was she not invited to our Factorio Fest? Fuzzy, come join us playing Factorio. That is the correct response. <laughs> and oh, it was the it. stream, so it's, it was his job to tell people it was happening. I don't know. It was all rather last minute, surprisingly enough. <laughs> join us. Ping, ping oh, me, me in Discord and I will give minute. you the information. Last minute, a thing involving me, <laughs> what? I know, right? She she can't, she's busy. Well, that's why we didn't invite you. We knew, we just magically yeah. knew. You were always busy. Uh. Really annoying early on with coal because you just want to be able to like dump a, like a stack into it and have it work, but you never have enough coal to start with. You just took no. some of the coal. Um, <laughs> you just took more of the coal. No, I put the coal in. I, g I gave you like all my coal. Oh, okay. It said minus, so I assumed that it was a minus from the <laughs> miner, but it's a minus from you, which is confusing when you're in multiplayer. That is true. Carly, thank you for the bits. Sympathy bits. <laughs> I appreciate your sympathy. Uh, oh, right, I'm gonna make a science lab. It's time. It's time. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna queue up- Oh, the science looks different! Oh yeah. I, like, all the UI elements have been changed. Oh, there's not enough copper in here. Have you been they, grabbing all the copper this whole I time? I literally just grabbed the copper. Every time I try and gather resources, you've just been there. It's great. There you go, the queuing has begun. Oh. You probably want to do... I'm, I'm going to cancel Electronics' new logistics first, because we need, like, underground belts to be able to run a factory. Oh, I'm getting confused by the new layout. That's why. We has a lab. I'm going to make some science packs. Oh. I can't. You have all the copper. Make me science packs. But I don't want to make science packs. We need 10, and then we can automate it and never make science packs again. Okay, I will make 10 science packs. And actually, I'll probably... I'm going to, like, make uh, 20 so we can then immediately do logistics <laughs> and have that out of the way. Wait, no, I can't. <sighs> I'm out of iron. I will make 10 science packs. God Welcome to Multiplayer Factorio with E, where we listen to E die. Oh yeah, there's a thing I can do now. Hold on. Ping. Ow. Ow. Control Alt click on the map. What have I done? <laughs> you should have known this was coming. <laughs> I blame you for this. It can no ishi. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> it can no ishi. I can't pronounce it. that. <laughs> Ekono ishi. Ekono ishi. There we go. Well, the, the markers come up tiny in, <laughs> in the overworld. They come up huge in the map. <laughs> Why have you stopped the science? I'm going to put some I haven't. Mine in. I ran out of packs because I'm still making them when I dump them in. <laughs> God damn it. Receiving incoming transmission. <laughs> Lego right, man, I am still slow as ever to read the chat. I've not been reading most of it. What does Bentham think about the ability to call trains to any location on your rails? Oh yeah, I forgot about that when I was doing my actual video about new train things and stuff. What? But now when you're in a train, you can just, I think, control uh. click on a, a bit of track and your train will just go there. Uh, that's so neat. Mm -hmm. Also, you can now set train wait conditions based on whether or not there is a passenger in the train. That's also really neat. And... Uh, if you don't set any wait conditions for a station, the train will pass through the station without stopping, meaning that you can tell it to take a certain route, 
by putting a station on that route and then having it just pass through it. So you can get uh, trains to take detours around uh, problem areas of rail congestion. Fuzzy, you need recommendations from Mixer. Uh, I use a Yamaha MG10XU. It's a little bit more than needed, in all honesty. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! In my life, my setup isn't so fancy. It's a hat. Ast host to process my audio. And a uh, hat. And what? And a hat. Well, I use a hat, or you use a hat? You use a hat. Oh yeah, no, I do. I, I, you're right, I do. I do use a hat in my audio processing. I use my hat to deaden the sound <laughs> uh, of of things hitting my desk. My my microphone for many years now has been sat on top of a folded over woolly hat. Can you pretend like Does I'm I... asking weird, crazy questions? <laughs> I genuinely forgot. It's just a part of my setup. It's just how it works. I mean, your your mic arm included a knife for a while. It did. It's in a metal cutlery knife. Receiving incoming transmission. And two points included biros. <laughs> oh yeah, at one point uh, before I, I did YouTube... I had a headset that was partially held together using a ruler. We come from the same school of bodge. Yeah, we're, it's it's the MacGyver school of YouTubing. <laughs> exactly. Modestium lost. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Uh, the bites are coming like, for the sound of my hiccups. Sorry. Like my, my lighting setup for when I'm doing anything face cam is a, a oh. desk lamp that is on an arm that clamps to a desk, but the clamp is missing because it's a second-hand one. So I just balance it on various things to get the light in the right place. How do you clear something that's in your, like, mouse? Q. <laughs> Sweet! Which also now, because of how they've changed the deconstruction planner and upgrade planner to work, if you hit Q, they just disappear because you don't need them in a slot now because there's already a slot for them in the, oh. the button bar. Oh. So you now just retrieve the deconstruction planner, and then when you're done with it, you hit Q and it's gone. Mm. Okay. Let's see, we've got automation done, and we're halfway through logistics. So we'll be able to actually have splitters and underground belts, which will be important. I want splitters. Um, I need I'll be this. playing Satisfactory at some point, Crazy mm. Faith, but I think it's still not available for anyone to play unless you win the lucky draw. Yeah, I pinged them on Twitter the other day and no reply. Yeah, I think right now the key policy is that you have to get look of the draw and no one's allowed to make videos of it. And there's no, like, press list or anything. That yeah, you I said, like, put me on your press list for when you're ready and they got nothing back. I was like, wow. I don't, I don't think they have one. I don't. It's weird and confusing and scary. This isn't how this normally works. How do you not have a press list? Like, I don't understand that. Like, does this count as like a closed beta if it's look at the draw keys being handed out, or is it is that, is that how that works? I believe the term is it's an arse of a tea kettle beta. <laughs> well, is a closed beta where it's like uh, an yeah. internal test, no. or is it where it's a limited test? L limited, and you can't really talk about it or anything. Okay, so it's a closed beta then. Yeah, it's a closed beta. It's just a weird one because I was kind of like thinking maybe it's like a Schrodinger's beta. Because it's not alive or dead until you look at it. Or don't. Oh, okay. But I don't. I don't think that fault was. I'm, I'm pretty sure satisfactory is a thing. It, and himself, they, they've shown a lot of stuff about it. Alpha is internal. No, alpha, alpha used to be. So in the old days, alpha would be an internal test, which was um, not feature complete. Uh, and then beta would be feature complete, but you were still polishing. And then Minecraft. <laughs> and then Minecraft happened. And then it became that alpha would be internal and beta would be something they could do externally. No, alpha <laughs> was external with, with Minecraft and it wasn't... Yeah, but that's that's how this term shifted. And then it became the just... Beta. It became... Blah, uh, uh. Yeah. Now it became call it whatever you like and people will just have to deal with it. Yeah. Call it whatever you like and they will come. 
And I think the Factorio devs have never used those terms, or they've, like, used them to be like, technically we are like this, but they've never actually used the terms. They're like, we're in... we're in development. We are feature complete, we are something else complete. They're just doing it that way. They're like, none of these terms mean anything anymore. We're just gonna make our own terms. That's... yeah. <laughs> they, got, they were made feature complete a while ago, and then there were something else complete at some point, and I can't remember what it was. Scope complete? I, yeah, I think it was scope complete. And now they're almost actually complete. They're getting there. Oh, uh, whoa, we're being attacked! Oh. Phantom uh -oh. to arms! Do you like the new alarms? They're really quiet and not at all panic inducing, which they really should be oh, when God. light is attacking you. That's a hell of a first attack. I am I am doing a concern. And I've got to invent blooming repair packs. Where are they? I need copper for that. Ugh. Everything's run out because I've just been stood around talking and there's no coal in anything anymore. Underground belts look different. Yep. They're smoother now and stuff. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Hiccups suck. Welcome to my TED talk. You That's win the, the award that I imagine exists for good TED talks. <laughs> <clears throat> So yeah, did you notice the alarm sound even? Because it's real quiet now. Uh, I did. It was weird and it didn't really sound alarming. It sounded like a bloop, yeah. bloop, bloop, bloop. I've already bloop, doubled bloop. the volume from what it used to be and it's still super quiet. So I think I need to like double it again. Can you, can you change then, the volume of the alarm? Or is it just game volume? Well, there's, there's an alerts slider for oh, okay. volumes. There's a bunch of different ones and they've I think they've changed it all now. Because the, the audio balancing seems borked. I've already been redoing I've maintained my walking sound percent volume because I find the <laughs> walking sound in this game ridiculously obnoxious if you have it at even 2%. That's true. Walking sounds decrease. Uh, alerts volume increase. <laughs> That's better. I think now they might have rebalanced it so that you can't hear 1% walking like you could before. Because I could still hear it before, and I was like, I can't make it any lower than this. <coughs> okay, coal for everyone. <coughs> That's my new policy, coal for everyone. You sound like the EPA. <coughs> Wait, which one's that? The Environmental Protection Agency. What What are their policies? <laughs> they just put a coal lobbyist in charge. Ah, right, yes, that's what... I, I was like, I feel like this is topical, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <clears throat> oh yeah, did you notice the new look of the biters? They look more like big, pale... Shellfish prawns. Okay. Is that a correct More assumption? Sort of like spidery and, and horrible and stuff. I don't know. Oh, and, maybe that. Uh, and the spitters look like uh, centipedes <gasps> now. Oh. And the worms look like those things from that King Kong movie, and I can't remember which one, and it might have just been called King Kong, but the one where there's worms in it. <gasps> I don't know that one. Maybe it was just called Kong? Yeah, there's a bit where they're, like, they're in a big has them and it's full of horrible ah! worm things and one of them eats the head of one of one of the people or starts to and then they cut its head off Sammy Hoyle, £37.68 like is this reaper level of money? <laughs> Hope it's getting rid of the hiccups. <laughs> Thank you it's certainly helping something, I'm not sure Wait, Why did it register as 37 68 for you but in your chat it just says 37 Oh, maybe my chat rounds for some reason Ugh is it like converting it between? No, that doesn't make sense. No. I don't know what's happening. Oh, oh thank you very much, Miss Amy Hoyle. Uh, 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 uh. I still love how you do bits. I, how do I? 
How do I do bits? I think going sideways into your camera, I guess. Oh, ooh, yeah, that's special. <laughs> that's true. I feel like you could use E as zombie sound effects. You put a, an inserter here, you can't put a power pole there. That's a good point. Also, you could have the, this power pole one further out. Oh, you've done it with the rest of them. Yeah, it got knocked, I think, as I went over a belt. Um. Oh yeah, belt immunity is a thing. Now, later in the game, you can unlock a belt immunity module you can put in power armor to mean that you don't get moved by belts. Oh, that's nichely useful. Well, it's really useful when you're at the blue belt stage and blue belts travel about as fast as you walk. Ah, yes. You can, like, I, I've, I've had many problems in the past where I've got stuck in a loop because a blue belt corner goes slightly quicker. And so that actually does push you back, and you can end up in a loop if you try and fight it. <laughs> so that's always fun. Don't fight the belts! <sighs> do more research. I can set up a, like a, sim, a single assembler to just get that running. I will allow that. You, you'll allow it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> God's sake. two assemblies. Wow, that's extravagant. Think of the children meant them. Have you tried turning your diaphragm off and back on again? <laughs> I I wish that was an option. I really do. I mean that that hmm. would fix it, right? Technically. I I don't know. I don't think anyone's ever tried. Like, the problem is that it gets feedback loop. But hmm. if you if you like reset your diaphragm, then it fixes it. However, there is no known like very effective way of actually doing that. Just don't breathe for 10 minutes and your hiccups will disappear. That is true. That is 100% effective. There are, there are various different methods people have suggested for trying to reset your <coughs> diaphragm, and I think they sometimes work, but it's never, uh, never reliable. No, they're all just generally as reliable as concentrating very hard on not hiccuping. I think it's the general gist of it. There we go. We've got some automated, uh, well, some kind of automated red science. Oh, which is now called uh, automation <coughs> science. Yay! They all have names now. I prefer just calling them red and stuff. <coughs> well, you can still do that, but they now have official names. I'm going to call them cherry and vanilla and what's what's gray? Alien. <laughs> there used to be alien science packs, but they were purple. Oh. You now have automation, logistics, military, chemical, production, utility, and space. And they all have much more defined roles now. So you can actually, like, bypass different kinds of science packs in favor of others, and it makes sense. And Grey can, can be bubblegum. Grey can be bubblegum? Mm hmm. Since when is grey a classical color of bubblegum? When you chew all the coloring out? <laughs> Cherry, lime, plague, Kool Aid. Okay. <sighs> yeah, some someone in chat has mentioned that there is actually there is one way that that is apparently been medically found to be guaranteed. <clears throat> Tasing myself, to... yes. Hmm. Tasing myself. That no, that wasn't it. This oh. is. <clears throat> there is one guaranteed way, uh, according to QI, which 
covered this a long time ago. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know that one. Yes, <laughs> apparently the way, the one proven way by studies <clears throat> of curing hiccups is apparently digital rectal massage. Uh, I don't know who found this out or how or why. No, no, that's not the only way. It's it's the same thing. So the nerve endings in that area of the body connect in a similar way, I think, as the diaphragm or to a similar point. I think it's to the same um, part of the spine. So heavy stimulation of the genital area uh, can cause it to override the feedback from the diaphragm because your spine can only take so much information from one source. And so it can override and wash out the signal from the diaphragm, which stops it spasming. Apparently you can also cure hiccups <sighs> surgically, but I feel like generally I, people the... don't get that far. Oh, we're being attacked! Oh. <sighs> Look, we're going to really have to go on ham. Yeah, we have to do something about this. Oh yeah, you set them to like infrequent- No, you set them to in- Oh, you set their expansion, their attacks are- Tip to that. There is a base just north of oh. here. Yeah, that's the one. Check it out. We need a bit more actually in the way of ammo at the very least. We can take it out with pistols, as long as we have enough ammo on us. Well, I'm already fighting them, so... Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, we're gonna need more ammo for the actual base, though. Yeah, that's kind of the important bit. That was what I was saying when I was like, "We need." <coughs> you get the base, I'll protect you. Okay, well, you can. We can both do that. If you just mouse over the area between you and the base, you'll shoot the base. But if a biter <coughs> appears, you'll default to shooting that. Teamwork. That was a nice explosion. It's Factorio. You can even automate what you choose to fire at at any one time. Biters have been made a little bit more dangerous with uh, with this update because it turned out that there's been this glitch in Biter base stuff forever. And I just thought it was how they worked, but apparently it was actually an error that they just never spotted. Which is that... Um, the, the bases normally absorb pollution, and once they reach a certain threshold, they, they, they like, spend pollution to spawn extra biters. Mm. And so they, mm. what they were doing was absorbing all the pollution that hit them, but it turns out that wasn't how they were supposed to work. They were supposed to absorb enough pollution to spawn a few biters and then let the pollution pass over them, but apparently they forgot they hadn't implemented this. Oh. And so... They looked and they're like, oh, it turns out that in most games with any sort of significant levels of pollution, there are biter bases that have tens of thousands of units of pollution in them when a biter costs like a hundred. Ah. And so they fixed the glitch. And so they'll be now, spawning more often. Now, once they hit that limit, pollution just washes over them and continues to the next base. <laughs> So, ah. you know how previously you've had maps where the pollution stops as soon as it hits the ring of biters? Yeah, now it's going to aggro now more. Now it, it doesn't stop. <clears throat> so, you're going to be, there's like three bases deep will be attacking you. So, uh, try firing up some of those old save games of yours with Rampant on and stuff. <laughs> where you were fighting for your life. And, uh, and enjoy. I'm removing the coal iron furnaces. Right. I like everyone's everyone's setting up a running joke now. Oh, why did you get rid of those miners? I was trying to mine away this tiny little remaining bit of iron. <laughs> oh. Okay, if you really want them. You can put an electric one on it if you want, I guess. The deposit's now small enough for, for one to be enough. <clears throat> Everyone's starting up a running joke now where every time the biter alarm goes off, they, they act like it. Uh, I've received a message. I mean, it is the Star Trek Ingotcom sound. Like, not gonna... Uh, it's that. It is, yeah. <laughs> so they're like, message from biter. Nom. Biter <laughs> wrote on your wall. 
I want that to appear. Like, they should just change it so, that, like, the console, like, text, like, messages appear. But, they're, like, stacked one left, one right, one left, one right, with a little picture of a biter on each. Someone make that a mod immediately. Nom, have you heard about this factory? Nom, nom, nom. No, what? what? What's going on? Oh, there's this delicious factory. You should come. Nom, 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 nom. I realise that there's not really any point in hoovering up off the belts when the furnaces are full of iron. Mm. That also works. Seven stacks of iron. Oh, did I put that in there? I shouldn't have put that in there. Whoops. Uh... I'll stick military in the queue because it's super cheap and it'll mean we can get submachine guns. Mm. Yay! And then turrets and steel, and then, oh, and then steel axe, and then we mine faster. Yay. They're a bit more expensive. They're like 50 each, though, so maybe mm. I shouldn't. Welcome to the Empire. Oh, you know what? Actually, Stay cancel shy. those. Uh, Slory, welcome to the Empire. Thank you, Mr. Grouse. This is for the chat. Uh. One well, annoying thing right now is you can't rearrange the research queue. I wish you could just, like, shoehorn something in. But you're not allowed to, like, drag them onto the, onto the oh, queue Oh, you should be able to just click and drag. I don't understand why. I'm sure they'll have that in, in, in like, two hotfixes time, because everyone's going to be like, why haven't you done this? Yeah. That does seem rather obvious. And if they're not, I'll be like, why haven't you done this? And then they'll do it, and they'll call it a game mode that they came up with. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how that works. It could be how that works. <laughs> You're not the how that works. <sighs> By the way, there's some iron gears building up in this chest here, so you can come and gather some from time to time. The assembler works faster than needed. Nom. Okay, thank you. Even faster, because it's not running half the time. <gasps> um... What do you think Actually, we you're should You're researching do. fast inserters, that'll fix it in a second. Yeah, what do you think we should work on now? Copper? Oh. Uh, yeah, copper array. Yeah. I can start... Uh, well, actually, oh, we need some radars, oh. I haven't got any of those yet. I'm going to plonk some radars down and then invalidate their existence by going on a scouting mission anyway. Benson, how do you feel about the end of Stargate coming? It's gonna be sad. Also, we might die. What makes you think that? Everything. Everything makes you think that. Do you not think that we're a crack team of competent specialists uh, perfectly suited for the job we have to do? What? I was reading chat. <laughs> wow! I, what I've discovered uh. is that I can only focus on interacting with people in uh, in a call or people in the chat, and I can't do both. Which is why uh. when I'm in multiplayer streams, I completely neglect the chat. If I try and read it, I immediately stop hearing what I'm being told uh. in the game. Okay, then why did you neglect me? Because I wanted to not neg neglect the chat. I just explained this. <laughs> but why did you choose that one? Am I not important? Because they were probably saying interesting <laughs> things. I don't know. I didn't get that far. Okay, so they're probably saying interesting things, which means that I wasn't saying anything interesting. <laughs> oh, shame. I was talking about uranium ammo, which is very fun. It's nice. It's a good late game upgrade. I just like hoarding my uranium in the late game. I see it as but a marker of like how well I'm doing. Ammo and give everything awesome ammo. I mean, I could. Could also just keep hiccuping. Where's the power mm. holding up? Oh, fine so far. <laughs> yeah, I might install the long reach mod next time. They've already given you <gasps> longer reach. But I want longer, longer reach. 
At some point, you have to stop. But... What if we get to the point where it's overreach? What? That's what I'm saying. Uh. 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 Ah. I'm just gonna. I'm building power pole lines out into the wilderness so I can build some radars where they'll uh. get eaten by biters. Areas from each other. Eh, probably. It'll be an early warning system. <laughs> True. Expensive early warning system. Nom. Have you seen this radar out here? Nom. No. Nom. It's really tasty. Nom. Come see. Bling. 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 I like everyone suggesting various different things you can do about the hiccups, <laughs> including uh, eating a teaspoonful of sugar. I'm not allowed sugar right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> It probably wasn't a good idea anyway. I mean, eating a teaspoon full of sugar is always a good idea. Mm. It makes the medicine go down. I, oh, you got to... I was just about to. You beat me to it. Mm. God damn it. There we go with those 1950s references or whatever it is. <laughs> there you go. That's my fake burp. Evening, Rawolf. I am not allowed to drink myself into oblivion. I'm not allowed alcohol. Oh. I'm allowed nothing fun. I had a dream last night that I had a house party and was able to drink. Oh. Oh. And I woke up and I genuinely thought for about 10 minutes that that had happened and that I had failed my diet and I failed my... <laughs> uh, personal trainer, and I felt very sorry, and then I realized it was a dream. Uh, that's always the worst when you have a dream about some uh, weird, like, scene change, and for a minute while you've woken up, you think it's actually true, and, yep. and you're like, oh, now I've got to face uh, life in this situation. It's, and then after a bit, you're like, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> it's the worst. I think I had that once where, where it was like a... It was like a messing up at university nightmare. It was like, I, I was one of those ones where it's like, oh, I've got an exam tomorrow and I didn't know I was signed up for the course. <laughs> and then I woke up like, oh crap, how do I fix this now? And then after a minute, I was like, what am I doing? I'm not in university anymore. And then it was like, oh, those nightmares are real. I thought they were just on TV. Uh, right. We have copper being processed. When can I get my nanobot gun? I don't know. Is it, is it still a thing? It's a technology, I the think. It's probably broken. I hope you've got auto saving running. I do. Oh, is there a worm here? Oh yeah, there's a, there's a random worm out here. Come <laughs> help me kill it. Do you need my help? Um, yeah, you can see that there's a new way that the projectiles work. Oh. It's interesting, and it makes it really good to have two people attacking the thing, not one. <laughs> also, okay. they make horrifying noises. Like me, when I hiccup. Ah! Yeah, so they now fire projectiles, and they try and predict where you're gonna be, <laughs> so you have to zigzag to avoid them. Ah, that's neat. I like it. And if you stand in these things, it slows you down and hurts you. And you... they for a while. For quite a while. <laughs> right, I've I've made a horrible monstrosity of radar grid by running power poles <laughs> out and we, we now look the our power network now looks like a headless stick figure. Uh we're also not really providing up power. Oh yeah, yeah, we don't have enough power for the number of radars that built. I can fix that if you like. Uh it's okay, I'm down here. We've almost unlocked optics, and then we can put lights down uh, and people can see. I mean, I'm not on YouTube, and apparently people can see just about. Okay. Well, in my chat, if uh, it gets nighttime uh, and everything's gone dark, just yell lights in the chat, all caps, and I'll maybe notice. 
What is it you say in Harry Potter to make there be light? Illuminati? It's Lumios, I'll have you know. Lum oh, Lumios is in the film. In the Lumos? book, it's it Lumos. Lumos. It's yeah. Lumos. Come on, Anthem. I'm sorry I mixed up the film and the, the books. How terrible of me. I know, right? <sighs> Apparently, the, the power grid now looks like a conspiracy theory map. Uh. <laughs> uh, the colored lights are one of E's mods. It tells you if a machine is operating or if there's something uh. wrong with it. Uh, red means it doesn't have the stuff to be able to activate. Yellow means it is... Input star... Oh, right. red, red, is, red is input starved. What is it? I forget. <laughs> Green is operating. Uh, yellow, I think, is output blocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yellow's output blocked. Must be. That's consistent with what everything is looking like. Okay, I'm going to put lights everywhere so that YouTube viewers can see. <laughs> hey, Harry Jason. Uh, also, you missed uh, Mage on Tuesday, and it was interesting. Dot tortured Josh's character. It was great. Oh, okay. I, I had to miss that because the factory update came out uh, half an hour before that show. Um. Also, Josh cast a spell and didn't realize his uh, uh, consequences. Oh. So he said to me, I would like to cast a spell, because he's afraid of getting shanked by Dot's character. I would like to cast a spell of forces around myself that prevents any object of a stab speed or slower from entering, like, the five millimeters around my body. He wanted an anti-shank field. Yeah, effectively. So nothing slower than, you know, five, ten meters a second could get within five millimeters of him. And so... Later on, he began to suffocate. Oh. And he was like, what, why am I, why am I, why am I, oh, I just remember the specifications of my spell. And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. Always got to watch out for, for uh, lawyer genies. Receiving incoming transmission. <laughs> they did They did meet some white court vampires, which was interesting. Oh. What's the white court? I've never uh, heard of they feed off human emotions. Oh. And uh, the particular house they met, House Wraith, feeds off uh, sexual energy. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> but... So are they, like, friendly vampires? Eh, no, really? they kill people when they feed off them. Properly. Oh, okay. They still, there's still the murder part. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So uh, they investigated a death, and eventually they had to go to this grand, stately home with armed guards and have a chat to the mother, and saying, "Look, your son has left a body in the open. We've got this truce kind of thing going on, but please don't make it this awkward and obvious." And so they had to tell off the son in front of the mother, which was great. Okay. And Dot's character is like almost completely asexual, so she got such a large bonus, she managed to resist quite well against the uh, the effects of being around them. And so she was, uh, he was like giving him a dress down in front of the mother, and they did it quite well. Nice. Oh, and also um, Rick's Rick ended up walking into the mirror in his sleep and gathering some shards oh. and bringing them back. Oh, dear. And then... Why is sleep? Why did that happen? He went to sleep. Does he have sleepwalking <gasps> as a negative? Uh, he's he's possibly possessed right now. Oh, okay. So not then... really sleepwalking, more like straight-up possessed walking. In his sleep, yes. Uh, and then... Um... He went to tell everyone, and his t tongue stopped working. And then he tried to tell oh. everyone again, and his heart beat four times in very rapid succession. 
that's not supposed to do that. Then decided it was a good idea not to tell them. Oh dear. <laughs> if you're gonna pick possessed, or what was it, haunted as a trait. Now you need to make it, um, give him horrific hiccups so that he can't talk. Ah, uh, nobody deserves that, man. <laughs> you would not wish that on anyone, even a fictional character. Oh god, no. No, that would just be torture. That's unfair. Yeah, that's Magecast. Uh, this episodes are on my Twitch channel or on the YouTube channel. Episode 5 isn't up yet. <laughs> Rick says he suffered 24 hours of hiccups at one point. Oh, Lord. Oh. That's not okay. Did, did, he, did he go to the doctor? I mean, I feel you might have to at that point. It's in the world of record years. Yeah, someone had a had a um, been hiccuping for years. Hmm. Right. Um, I'm st starting a bus. Oh yeah, I did the. I set up the the radar. So they've started scanning, but they're taking their sweet time. Mm. Did you upgrade the power? Yeah, it's yeah, doubled. That's really fine. Radars uh, are using as much power as mining drills are. <laughs> Radars early game are a huge power sink, and then late game it just doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking south facing, because that looks like it's the neatest. <sighs> I always hate vertical facing buses. Why? Uh, it's just, just a pet thing. Okay. Oh, there's a biter base off to the right we should deal with. Yeah, I see it. Should we just go do that now before yeah. the pollution oh. gets to it? Uh, we've unlocked submachine guns actually now, so I'm going to get one of those. Oh. I'll also buy a shotgun for destroying the base. All right. Right, submachine gun armed and ready to go. I'm still waiting. So let's wait here for a bit. Just awkwardly standing here. <laughs> oh, also, um... Hmm, that works. Oh, thank you. I have to be honest. I did just take some ammo out of your inventory. Did you? You had one ammo sent in your inventory. How did you access my inventory? I can click on you and see your inventory. I can actually take the ammo out of your gut. Mm. Wow. Yeah, how did I can't do that? What buttons are you pressing? I just click on you, left click. That doesn't work for me. I think you've got, like, admin privileges on. Okay, try and shoot me. Try and shoot me. Okay. Uh, you've taken my gun, so I can't. <laughs> okay, don't shoot me. I'm going to give you a Except gun. Except you gave me your pistol. Yeah. Uh, ready? <gasps> Charge! Sorted. Always a good combo. One person with a shotgun taking out the base. Yeah. Mm. One in chat says, Bentham, can you ask E if you can help me with my organic chemistry work? Uh, I'm not very good with organic chemistry. I'm not very good with chemistry, to be honest. I didn't take chemistry A-level. Uh, I did the job it after the first year. Ah. There's, there's only so many times you can calculate how many moles there is in something before. <laughs> nope. Generally, count the number of molehills tends to help. 
feel like mole hills has very little bearing on how many moles there are, really. I mean, they're, they're, they're proportional, right? Oh, there's one to the south. We should take it as well. To the south! All right. Give also, us a good chance to do one some second. as well. I'm going to give you some stuff I've got in my inventory. I don't know if I want <gasps> you to be messing with my... Okay, fine. Are you just dumping things you don't want in my inventory? I had a lot of copper and steel uh, and iron. You really did? Yeah. That's half of what I had. Why? Just There's a chest that I've set up right now <gasps> specifically for putting those in so that it can be made into science packs. Can I explain the self-destruction of black holes to chat? That I can do, and that is awesome. So, near the horizon, the black hole... Well, basically in space, you don't have nothing. You have something, because you need to be uncertain, because <laughs> quantum physics and the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and all that jazz, whatever. There's that's a worm on at this one. All right, that's an oversimplification, but you need to be uncertain. So you can't be certain that a vacuum is nothing. So what you have is a particle and antiparticle <laughs> create themselves and then annihilate, like, fraction of a second later, all the time. Go, go, go. Ow. Ow. Ow, pain. Why did it go for me? I think it's because I arrived first. Because you're juicy. I lost half my health. <laughs> so, what happens is, at the edge of a black hole, these particles create... One of them is just too close to the black hole and falls in. But I hang around here and scare. And then the other particle is like, wait. The, co the cosmic balance of where I got my energy from is no longer, I can't annihilate. There's nothing to annihilate with. And so it then turns from a virtual particle into like a, a proper particle and then just flies away. And the energy created comes from the black hole. And so that energy is taken away from the black hole's energy. And this happens all the time. And slowly particles uh, cause the black hole to evaporate. That's a very like rough TLDR, but it's true. And then inside the black hole, do the particles and antiparticles just uh, encounter each other, having been separated from... In the black hole? Well, what do you mean? Because the, inside the black hole, there are now uh, particles and antiparticles made, right? Inside the black hole is weird. Well, I know it's weird in there, but... They'll uh, still exist in some form, right? That's the correct answer. And yeah, because of that, right, because we're talking about the surface area, the number of particles that hit it is a surface area thing. Surface area is um, the square of the size, whereas the volume is the cube of the size. So the actual volume of a black hole, the larger it is, the much slower it decays. But when it gets smaller, because its surface area is only a square as opposed to a cube, it actually becomes able to like evaporate much quicker. So large black holes stick around for a long time, whereas smaller ones evaporate much more quickly because it's uh, much more likely to be similar numbers because square and cube are only going to be close when it's smaller and they're going to have large divergences when they get big bigger numbers. Yes, and that is known as Hawking radiation. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> right, have we got enough yet to do the bus? Uh, I've done some scouting and it looks like uh, we're good to do some expanding into the south. If, you, if you're if you okay with south. I mean, the south got some big cliffs though. Oh yeah, there are some. Crap, I didn't see them. I think, they were, like, I think we need to go like either l probably left from just below the water. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, I will wander out that way and have a look. By the way, there's some worms down here, but... Don't do you need my help? Right uh, yeah, if, in single player, I've I've pranked, I, like, I've already encountered two worms and been able to take them out, but with the extra lag that I have from being a client, I don't think I can survive. I'll be honest, it's not just a lag of you being a client, it's a lag of you constantly de because I constantly get a message that you're trying to update the game. Oh. It's flicking in the top left corner, you might be able to see it on stream occasionally. Hmm. The game hasn't been telling me that I've had any issues as far as I've noticed. Um, OBS has been dropping some frames, nearly 1% of all frames. Oh. 
I'm definitely going to have to get my internet connection looked at. <laughs> Something's wrong with it. Yeah, it's it's it also coincides with your Zoom issues. Weirdly, I haven't been noticing any Zoom <laughs> issues in in a from you since that like early one but maybe I've just I've noticed a couple from you but not in the last 20 minutes or so there's another base out here a worm and a, a spawner and that's something I'm going to right now <gasps> yeah that's the worms you might want my help with that I will come say hi <laughs> actually with if you've got the shotgun that might be might be good for taking them out quickly before they Hurt you too much. Ow, 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 ow. I got hit. Yep. And it just it just goes downhill from there because then you're moving slower and you run into more of them. And they're persistent. <gasps> Stop running through them. You keep running through them. I'm good. They all stay for like a really long time. <sighs> right, there's a base up this way. Alright, I'm coming. I like that just constantly in my chat there are suggestions about how you deal with the hiccups. It's all the classics. And I know the reason is it's because everyone always has this and also it's because on TV every single like sitcom and like cartoon in history has had the hiccups episode where a character gets hiccups at the start and has them for the whole episode and they spend the whole time trying to fix it and that is how people have learned like 200 different ways of Stargate doing hasn't had it. None of them actually work. Oh, wow. This is quite a base. And half the problem is that ultimately they always pretend that one did work at the end of the uh, of the episode <gasps> as the conclusion to die. Oh, dear. But the, uh, the <gasps> method actually never worked in the first place. Oh god, I'm really low on health. Should we just not go next to that one for a second? Don't stand oh, in the goo! I didn't realize there was any there because there were biter corpses on top of it. <laughs> I'm not. I can't check like what number of health I'm on, but it was real low for a second. I just got to regen. Daniel Jackson take up the entire himself stuff? has oh. brought it all together. If you swallow a black hole, it cures hiccups forever. It's true. I, that, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure you are swallowed by the black hole. Mm, yes, but you're not hiccuping yet. Uh. And like another hour of this, and you'll probably be at the point where you'll accept that as an as an option. I'm probably. At some point, my diaphragm will get like tired enough. Mm. I got good. Oh no, one of my viewers just got hiccups. It's infecting them! It's transmitted over the internet like yawning. <laughs> We're all doomed. <sighs> oh, I see more red dots. <sighs> Also, I'm like out of ammo, but I can craft a bunch more. Oh, we've got a medium worm this time. A medium worm. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is the factual veracity of that statement we are worried about right now. Wait, I'm stop good. standing around me, they're gonna spit on me. That's preferable. Okay, this is doing nothing. I think you, we need the shotgun for this, I'm no use. I've been trying to shotgun it. I'll take out the little one. Oh lord, it's gone wrong. Oh, no, why did you leave me? <laughs> you should have backed away. You ran away, so they both targeted me. It was going fine till then. Hmm. And, uh, okay. Well, both our stuff is over there. Wow, we're going back. Hmm. And now we both have a, a new pistol and ammo. Hey, that's what everyone wants in life, right? A brand new combat hub. Two pistols at once. Dual world! Cross the streams! <laughs> oh, that was a thing. It should be a thing. 
No, Factorio is a very serious game about people doing very serious things with factories. <laughs> also, we should get armor. Were you wearing armor? No. Oh, good. I wasn't either. <laughs> Are you respawned? Yeah, I'm on my way back. Oh, I only just grabbed resources. Okay, I'm on my way back as well. Uh, but my resources are in my body, so I'm going to go get them. But you have to jump around enemy fire to get them. Well, I'm hoping I can do it quick enough to not die. Okay. Also, I've got a reach of 10 now, which might Bye, be KG. enough to grab it from outside of, of where the biters can shoot me. Uh, hmm. <sighs> nope, I looked away and now I'm being attacked by biters. I walked too far. I got so far up, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I went I went to go read chat, and then I looked back, and biters were killing me. But I'm okay. I did it. I'm okay. <gasps> I'm reading chat, and that's where I'm at. But in the end... <gasps> Alright, I'm here. Right, where are you about? I need to just body. set my guns a second. Where are you? It's over there. Uh, it's a little Wait, bit slow down, slow down. <gasps> we need to we need to group up. Wait. I've Wait. just got a pistol and some ammo, so I'm I need to get my stuff. <gasps> if you run in and distract him for a minute, I can grab my stuff and get out, and then I can distract them while you grab your stuff. What say you to this plan? Um, I have guns. Go, go, Bentham, go! Okay, I'm going. I'm distracting them. Got everything. I walked through the sticky stuff, but we're still good. You want me to distract him? <laughs> no, uh, I've got I've got enough on me. I don't need to go get my stuff until you know we're dealt with this. I'm actually quite low now. I've got four guns on me now. Stop giving me your guns! Uh. Alright, I will give you some ammo. There you go. Okay. <sighs> right, do you want me to move in and you can grab your stuff or are we just attacking? No, just attacking. Okay. Charge! I'm gonna switch to the shotgun. I say we leave the medium worm to last and then we can focus him down. Okay, yeah, the, the, this. I got stuck! <laughs> the submachine gun, it does nothing! I have to back away, you might leave. Okay, I'm just gonna draw its fire. Sure, I'm at two-thirds health, so you be careful about that. Ow. Uh. I like when a kidney stops to roar, so I just have a moment of, of calm before it goes back to trying to kill me. Oh, yeah, you geez. keep that up. It's going well. Uh. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm starting to tickle it. To move in. Move, move to a different angle. Okay. Oh jeez, oh, I'm low on health. I think it's getting ticklish. <laughs> it's hiccuping. It's got a zigzag. Oh no! Yeah. Move! Back away! Back away! Back away! <laughs> Get ah! out of there! Damn God it. damn it! I panicked and just started running directly away, but that meant it knew where <laughs> I was going and shot where I, I was. Running to and I died. I'll wait for you. I'm on my way. I might be able to grab my stuff without aggroing <laughs> it this time. I died slightly. I just need you away. to just run around. That you don't need a gun. Do bear in mind the thing heals while uh, while time passes. <laughs> in which case, I'm going to shoot it a little bit. Oh. 
So they're suggesting drinking milk, drinking water. No, not milk. Carbonated drinks. Not like carbonated drinks. Holding breath. I th like, my chat just can't get past this. I, I, like, the moment I heard the hiccups, I just accepted it. It's like, they will last as long as they will last. And then they will be over, and at some point we'll notice and be like, <gasps> yay! But nothing can stop hiccups. We have learned this. I really could do with a meat shield distraction. I'm on my way, jeez. I like the fact you've accepted your role. <laughs> well, it's because you're the one with the shotgun. I don't want to make my own shotgun, so... <gasps> I'm leaving the shooting to you. Right, you keep him aggroed for a second. Not a problem. I'm good at doing that. Okay, got my stuff. I'm hit! I now have five pistols. Right, I'm here. You get out of its range and it's going to go for me. Okay, it's going for me. Move in. <laughs> I'm here. Figure eight, run. Figure eight, sag. It will take about another 15 shots to kill it. No, 30 eight. shots to kill it. Sometimes it really gets the British. 20 if shots. You just like spam different keys. Wait, if I just stand in one place and just hit keys and never stop moving. <laughs> Never gonna aim where I am. Never gonna just aim at me. me. Never gonna hit me now. Just eight more shots I just have till to do this. the worm's I just dead. Have to keep doing this and it'll never shoot me. I've discovered the secret. Ah! <laughs> no, it didn't work. No! I must have just managed to get me between button presses. Uh, or they thought of that and they programmed it. If for five seconds, then... Uh, maybe. I'm okay, though. We did it. High five. Okay, next time we fight a medium biter, let's just turret creep. Yeah. But you've got a body here, by the way. Do you want your stuff? Oh, I guess, yeah. Also, how do I teabag my corpse? You can't, and also it's it's your own corpse. It's and not how that works. Would you, would you like a shotgun, by the way? I've got a spare. No, I don't want one. Though I should say, half the reason I don't like the shotgun is gone now. I used to not craft a shotgun at the beginning of the game because it would leave you with an odd piece of uh, wood, but they've removed um, processed wood from the game. There's now only raw wood and things made directly from it. Hmm. I can't. Ambi in my chat just went lull and then went, wait, this isn't Twitch. But also the lull got flagged by the, by the bot. I wonder if they've programmed YouTube's bot to... Uh, Hate Twitch. To flag things structured like emotes. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Is that... Someone just said, is that auto-necrophilia? I I guess it is. Curry, you your sub run out of the day of the new emotes? No, Curry. What are you doing? <laughs> your name is now Cur Croak. <laughs> Everyone's Croak. <laughs> no, I'm Croak. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> no, I'm Spartacus. <laughs> Okay, it seems like going uh, west is good for the main boss. Okay, I'm thinking below the water going west. I will start making vast amounts of uh, oh. belts. I am already on it. Also, this chest is our emergency chest for if you need to spawn. <clears throat> okay. I just hiccuped. <gasps> oh, no. It's catching. Now I'm gifted the tier sub to Courier, and Courier did it at 18 months, which, ah, uh, no, wait, what? No, they've gifted 18 gift subs. Ah, right, Courier is a sergeant. There we go. Thank you very much, Nanon. Also, uh, Orca says, have I ever played a tabletop called 
Eclipse Phase. <laughs> Eclipse Phase is one of those tabletops I really want to play at some point. It's a uh, future scary sci-fi. When do I lock grenades? Oh, it's after green science. Because I just saw this forest and I'm like, uh... Uh, that's why I want nanobots. Uh, we can just... I'm just going to start the bus below this. There's a nice well, line where it's by clear. next week, by next week, we might have nanobots. <laughs> oh, how long have we been going? Oh, over two hours, huh? Well, oh, do you want well, to stop now? We can do main bus next week. Uh, let's set up the basic structure. How do we want to do it? Do we want to do like eight wide in a gap of two? Or do we want to do like four in a gap of two? Why would you do eight? Because uh, eight is how far a blue underground belt can leap. Sure, when we get blue underground belts, but and, this is yellows. And what you do for an eight is you start by doing threes, and then you fill in every other gap Because then, when later in the game you inevitably discover you didn't give your main bus enough throughput, you're like, and now we have more belts. Let's let's just do fours for now. Okay, fine. We can f fix that in post. I can't be asked with the problems it will cause until then. Oh, I've already... What did, okay, I've, we're both building it at the same time. Let me fill in the gap. Oh, we, bo we both put down the like the initial foundations and did them in line perfectly with each other. Yeah. Well, didn't you see the... I, I made no. you a demonstration one. Well, yeah, but I, I thought you were demonstrating you something else. Three. And so I got rid of them. I, I did my own, and you did your own. But they were in perfect line. I've taught you well. Yeah. Also, if we had nanobots, we could just blueprint this and just get the nanobots to do it. Oh, shush. Back in my day, we had to run oh. belts uphill both ways through snow. Yeah, but there's and a reason we that your day it. is like, you know. We lived in a rolled up <coughs> newspaper at the bottom of a lake. Yeah, your, in your day, new player mortality was so high. <laughs> like, hard Breakfast if them got was past a handful second hour. of cold poison. <laughs> Oh, you know, worms You worked 26 hours down mill and paid mill owner for the uh, privilege of having a job. That just sounds like you're bad at the economy. You don't <laughs> know the Yorkshireman sketch? No, I do not. I am I have to link it to you as soon as we're done. It's one of the best Monty Python sketches. Back in D. Uh. It's the four Yorkshiremen, and it's just four Yorkshiremen trying to one-up each other about how terrible life was when they were kids. I'm currently just continually extending these belts because it's easier than actually building any main bus elements. Uh oh, the nanobots developer is a Factorio developer who might be slightly busy. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Why would the Factorio de developer be busy right now? What, what possible task could yeah. be consuming their concentration right now? That's one thing I find funny about Factorio mods, is that a bunch of them are made by Factorio devs who have proposed a a, a feature and uh, it's been decided it's not it's no good in the main game, and then they're like, well I'll just make a mod then. That's great. Mm. Shows native support for mods amongst the own its own devs. Mm. Uh. Do do do. Do, do, do. It's the four Yorkshireman sketch. Everyone go watch it, but only after this is finished. There we go. That's that's good advertising right there. Only after we're done with you. <laughs> God damn it. Are you running uh, uh, the lines down to the bus or are you doing something else? Uh, I was going to go make sure the um, coal thingy my bob the, is, uh, for the stone is just a electric furnace. Electric mill thingy. Okay, I'm gonna start bringing the ore line, the plate lines down to the bus. Apparently that person isn't a Factorio dev who made nanobots. Oh. 
But now I feel disappointed and let down. You were lied to. How could someone do this? Well, they open their mouth and then they say a thing that is not a truth. Oh, by the way, belt throughput has been slightly increased. And so now, I, if you notice, I think previously this oh. many furnaces... Oh no, the furnaces ratio has been kept the same, actually. Um, I'm trying to work it out now. What is the ratio? Because this is... This is eight. What is the golden ratio? Oh, these aren't as compressed as they can be, I think, is what it is. I was looking and being like, this looks like you can only fit one or two more plates on, but that can't be right, but it's because I don't think they're actually as squished in as they can be. I did leave a little bit of room for future expansion or whatever. I was meaning in terms of, like, the stuff on the belt, I think, wasn't as squished as it can be. No, on the you, belt. You're not as squished as you can be. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I like that these hiccups have lasted the <gasps> entire I was stream. meant to be recording some stuff after this, and I might just have to scrap <laughs> my entire idea and just... and just go... just give up on life. Just go Thank and sit in front of the Thank you for the $20 super chat, Straff and Wilder, no message again. There's, no, there's not much chatting in these super chats. Say hi. I'll there's a lot of super chat uh, and not much chat. Bad thing. And also, that's that's the third currency. We're up to three. We've had uh, we've had rubles, euros, and dollars so far. Oh, we can get a few more than that. Now, how many belts of iron and copper should we have in the bus? Four iron, four copper, and then two of the iron will get turned into two copper on the belt. So, wait, six oh. copper, or...? No, uh, four go in, but we'll only ever actually have two, because two of them will get turned into cogs, and two will get turned into circuits. Oh, you said two iron belts would get turned into copper, I was confused. Sorry, I meant two would get turned into cogs. Okay. Unless you want more. We can always bootstrap more later. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm more of the mind of, like, 12 belts of copper and 8 belts of iron. <gasps> Holy crap! We don't need that yet. Well, I know not yet, but you've got to plan the main bus size uh, early on so it works. We can always do that. Oh, I got, I just got fifty sec. Is that, uh, is that Swedish? Parsecs. Swedish kroner, kroner, yeah, kron, one S of them. S it was it S E K? Yeah. Yeah, it's Swedish kroner. Thank you very much, Emily Soldal. Herp derp, iron chest, uh, the best chest. How could you do this to me? There we go. You wanted a chat. You got a chat. Take that. Heresy! <laughs> How could you betray me so? I trusted you. Oh, this is this is a good view. I like this. All equally spaced. All equally... Oh, that's really nice. It's good ratios. Also, I'm going to ruin it by going... It no, 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 no. It just, like... Based on how the line starts, completely changes how the... Uh, how the arrangement will be. So I've got two completely different patterns. Oh! <laughs> They're, oh, they're yeah. almost mirrored, but not quite. Because in these ones, the they're copper closer. lines up yeah. perfectly on belt one and two. Up here, it's staggered for each belt. Mm. There's not a continuous line of iron going diagonally. Yeah. And then it all gets ruined because it hits the end. I'm going to eat some to try and balance it a little bit. Oh, yeah, and we can do priority splitter stuff now and make it all go to one side and stuff, but it's not <laughs> too important at this stage. Yeah. Um... We did a research. I don't know which one it was. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I think it was Steel Axe. We can now mine quicker. Yay! Not me use that for a while. Speed mining! Kill the trees! Next time we'll have nanobots, hopefully. <laughs> we'll probably just need the... You know what it'll be? It'll be that library is the library of hooks for research. Wait, what? 
The library that we didn't install will be a load of hooks for research to actually allow you to research the item. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. Well, yeah, have a look in the research. Is it on the list? No, I couldn't find it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, like, if you it's... search Nanobot... Wait, I see the loaders, though. The mini loaders and logistics train network are here. Yeah, but the uh, Nanobots needed the library. The other ones didn't. Well, Nanobot should have just got its <coughs> own built-in library instead of being dumb. Well, it's also meant to save you on, like, performance. You don't have to load so many different things that do very the same thing. But yeah. Also, it should have loaded. I don't know why it didn't load it for you. Hopefully that'll be fixed. It seems like it'll be fixed relatively soon. I'm guessing that, like, standard library is in some way broken. And that it's not accounting for the new mod synchronization structure. Maybe, yeah. Either way, do you want to call it here? All right. Uh, Next episode, we can do all the main bus gubbins oh. and get some high speed production. So to go. do, I'm going to add new... Okay. Um, what do we want? Like, put put stuff on main bus. What do we want to put on the main bus? Usual things. So... Gear circuits, science labs, red science pack oh, screens... That's, that's science making stuff on the bus. What do we want to feed to the bus? I assume coal, stone, brick. Yeah, coal and stone and, and steel. Brick. You could do stone steel. brick as a separate bell. Actually, I'd probably say that now, because previously... I normally I do half a belt stone? of stone and half a belt of stone brick. Oh, more than that now. What what I used to do is I do a belt of raw stone and then if I and then I could choose I could make the raw stone into rails if I wanted to, or if I needed stone brick, I would smelt it. Now what I would suggest <coughs> is one belt of raw stone, one belt of stone brick, because you need brick for one or two different sciences, two different sciences, and you need uh, raw stone for another science. Okay, so one belt of coal, one belt of stone, one belt of brick, one belt of steel. Maybe two belts of steel. Yeah, that should work. <laughs> right, so I've saved that. And a new one, we're going to have uh, main bus um, circuits. If someone else in my chat is like, now I'm hiccuping, help! Main what have you done, E? <laughs> Bentham, do you feel the need to hiccup? Uh, no, luckily the one hiccup I had before wasn't caused by a feedback loop, it was by a burp going wrong. Oh. Main bus, uh, red science. To-do list, three tasks available, four tasks available. What do you think, is that good to be getting on with? Oh, also sure. turrets. <gasps> oh yeah, we should probably set defences around the factory, how's the pollution looking? Fine at the moment, but there are some bases out there that'll eventually be a problem. We'll also put down like temporary automated ammo, because we'll need automated ammo for the turrets until we actually get it made. And I'm actually going to assign. Uh, oh. The thing about too. this is that just before the stream, I was playing Factorio, and now that the stream is le ending, I'm going to go back and play Factorio. Uh, update. I'm going to go back and regret my life choices. And in that game, I'm going to make an insane main bus, because I'm I'm testing out how Marathon Rail World is in point 17. <laughs> oh, God. So I need lots of iron and copper. Marathon is just... Oh, God. Is great. You need four iron to make a single gear and uh, oh. like ten copper wire to make a single circuit. Oh god! And all uh, science takes four more, four oh. times as many science packs to complete. Oh god! It means that every single bit of science you do, you savor. It all matters. You claw your way up to the research you need to do the next bit of factory. Ugh! That sounds the great. worst. I love it. I've been playing for like four hours and I haven't got this far yet. I've just about scouted out where I'm going to put my main bus and I'm trying to put together enough belts to start building the bus. Okay, I've added a, a really important to-do list. <laughs> it's good. It's great though, because what'll happen is next time you, you start this up, You'll see that that is at the top of the to-do list, and you remember, oh yeah, I was having horrific, debilitating hiccups that whole last stream, <laughs> and now I'm not, and you'll be able to appreciate not hiccuping. And I can tick it off the list. Yeah, you can tick it off. 
Yeah, that's why it's in there. It's going to be great. That's always the thing. Everyone watching right now uh, who like isn't suffering in some way from some various illness, um, just appreciate the fact that at the moment you can breathe normally. <laughs> Your nose isn't blocked. Your throat isn't uh, killing you right now. You're not hiccuping. You sound like the most passive-aggressive serial kids would be like, You should appreciate right now that my knife is not in your heart. Except how on earth does that apply to nose being blocked? Uh, you could be suffocating them. Uh, Stratton, thank you much for the bits! This is an important thing to, to consider from time to time, because whenever your nose is blocked, you're like, oh, I hate that it's the case. But then you forget immediately when it's no longer blocked. But every now and then, when your nose isn't blocked, you should be like, I can just breathe, and it <gasps> just works. I would like how your hiccuping to just work. Oh, Commander, I also have, actually do have a clip save. I just haven't read it yet. Anyway, uh, so thank you very much for watching. This is going to be on the YouTubes and stuffs. So thank you, Bentham. Uh, where can people find you? You can find me on YouTube where I'm making videos again about Factorio and other things like Kingdoms and Castles. And there's a new game that at some point I'm actually going to put videos out on. Maybe. I've got some stuff queued up. I'm good. It's the return, guys. It's the return. I'm here. So We're doing the thing. You can expect videos about May, June then? About what? About May, May or June. <laughs> you shush. Uh, but also, um, I, I'm on Roll For It. I have to remember that when I'm not on Roll For It and I'm promoting myself, I need to promote Roll For It because otherwise, like, usually I only do promoting on Roll For It to just talk about my channel. But I'm also on Roll <laughs> For It where I'm in all the shows on Sundays and it's great. It is. Go watch and support on Patreon because that's how I'm still here and able to work on the internet. It's definitely not YouTube because <laughs> YouTube income is terrible. True. Also, you should come play more Armada. I got my new two new ships, and I have my lists I want to try against you. Oh, oh th there is Wave 3 of X-Wing 2.0 is coming out very soon. I you still owe me, like, at least one Armada battle, maybe two before more X-Wing. But, but new X-Wing things, I'm, I'm need <laughs> to, like, email Fancy Flight and be like, can we has free stuffs, please? Do it. We will make the videos. <laughs> also, 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 also. Um, we'll we'll play some Armada, and then if the Super Star Destroyer comes out, then I will have new stuff to play with. It's such a ridiculous ship. I need to do a battle against <laughs> it, because I want to see if I can just tear the thing to pieces, if it's the only thing on the board. We, we'll have to do, like, because when it comes out, they're doing um massive battles as well, because they've introduced rules for, like, battles yeah. up to, I can't remember how many points, I think it's like four. Yeah, there's still no top. word of when Epic is coming back to X-Wing. Hmm. I want to be able to fly my, my transport and my... Admittedly, Gizanti they have again. been relaunching, like, five factions. Seven. Se well, seven relaunching fa five and launching two new Yeah, ones. seven factions, okay. so... There-ish. Also, X-Wing so is what terrible. Are you, what are you doing, E? What's your stuffs? Uh... What is my stuff? Just play Victorio and lots of Hearts of Iron, new update, and Kaiserreich, and also Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2, where I just ram everything with Imperial ships because it's fun. And Roll for It, which I forget to promote because no one I do promotion only on Roll for It. But I want everything on Roll for It, apparently, at the moment. Hmm. That's not emotionally. Interesting with all the different I don't know emotions. How you can do Ten what? hours of RPGs in the space of twenty thirty hours. It's oh. like just RPG sleep RPG. I mean I don't really do anything else at the weekend, yeah, that's the that's why. Done. Yeah, but like I used like when I was briefly doing two shows <laughs> in a weekend, I was I was dead on Mondays. I'd like to be dead on Mondays, but often I get to Monday and everyone's like, we need to do the things, the email, or make videos about the things that you haven't been doing for two weeks, two days. And I'm like, uh -huh. We've got stuffs we gotta, we got to plan for, but that's all secrets. <gasps> the stuffs are really good. They, they are good I stuff. might be starting on the stuffs. Oh, I stuff do want tomorrow. everyone in the, in the world to know that we got some new, we got a new poster commission done uh, for Roll For It. <laughs> That's Patreon only, but it's amazing. But I want to show it everyone, but it's Patreon only, I know. so I can't. But it's amazing, and I'm going to make it my desktop background. <laughs> it's my desktop on the 4K. I made it 4K for a reason. 
My desktop background has been our very first poster since that was made, like, oh, almost a year and a half ago. <laughs> Which one was the very first one? Oh, the Layla one. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was the Layla Bunny Mew fight. And, but now, now the Star Games one is so good uh, that I want to... I wanna... <laughs> yeah, the Star Games one is... I might, I might split between. I might have one monitor be Layla and one be... Star I've got Games. different on each monitor. I've got... Uh, I think I've got, like, three different posters and three other things, which are just, like, logos and stuff. Problem is, I don't think it works for me properly because I've got one wonky monitor that's four by three and on its side. So I, I don't think I'm allowed to set different <laughs> things. Uh, have get display by. fusion. You might be able to get display fusion. What's it's what I display? use. It allows you to mo uh, manage multiple monitors. Okay. And also, it has a, a few things for like hotkeys and stuff for moving uh, things around different monitors. Like, Does that mean you can have monitor extending but then also duplication? Because I noticed you were using yes. that at Roll for it Con. I think you could do that normally, but yeah, it allows you to, you can do loads of stuff with display fusion. Oh, maybe you can. I didn't notice a way of doing it normally, but maybe it's possible. I'm pretty sure you can, but either way, display fusion like adds a few things. Like it's got a really good hotkey, which is Control Win X, which is uh, change which monitor and, uh, a screen is on. Hmm. I I'm use just that all the time. Put it out there that if you give roll, roll for it one dollar on Patreon, you get access to like. <laughs> 15 fantastic posters that we've commissioned over the past and year. And the now. Discord. The Discord's really lively. That too. And the MP3s. <clears throat> it's a really good it's, deal. It's good stuff. It's a good deal. Very also, good. for free, without even paying anything on the Patreon, you can get access to the, the comics. Yeah, we have comics as well. We there are, There's a comic with, featuring a character played by me that exists in the world now. So that's the <clears> thing. And the, I like the cheese cuss one. That, that's really nice. It's a shame you're not in it, though. Hmm. But Peachy's character looks so good in it. Indeed. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when we get to the flat cat issues of, of that. Oh, that's going to uh, be so good. The battle. It's going to be good. Half, half the people watching have no idea what I'm talking about. Flat cat battle. On, people only ever watch my channel when I play Factorio. This is a good time to be like, hey, I'm, I'm in an <laughs> RPG show. It's called Roll For It. Go watch it. Do the th I'm going to type it in chat. Go watch Roll For It. Google it. It's great. <coughs> Roll For It. It's on Twitch. Every Saturday and Sunday. You haven't Hate actually said build. the URL. I can't be bothered to just type it in Google. It's <laughs> Twitch.tv forward slash Roll For It. Or you can see the backlog at YouTube.com forward slash Roll For It. <laughs> or you can find the Twitter at Twitter.com forward slash Roll For It. R-O-L-L. -L, not L-E-L-L. -L -L for the number It. I that literally is... couldn't continue to be a YouTuber if it wasn't for the fact that being a tabletop RPG player funds me on the internet. Also, if you want me and Bentham to do another uh, Battle Brothers, let us know. <laughs> the Cortex command. We need to do more Cortex. That was hilarious. I need to upload some of the uh, X-Wing and Armada things. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm way behind on all that stuff. I, I'm not sure about the Armada. It just went so poorly for me, and I also forgot some of the rules and stuff. I'm just afraid that the rule lawyers are going to come along and be like, why are you getting all the rules on? And be like, it's 4am, because Bentham was only awake at like 6. No one knows the rules for Armada. Nobody plays it. Wow. It's true, though. Bentham, you actually beat me last time. Do you not want to actually like build upon that? No, I don't base my, my opinion of how good a game is on whether or not I win or lose. It's a good game. It's a pet peeve I have about X-Wing of literally every time I've introduced some, someone to X-Wing, their opinion of it has been entirely influenced by whether or not they've won or lost. I beat Bentham three times in a row, and as soon as we started recording, I said, by the way, my luck is terrible at this game generally, so I try and minimize my luck, and my build is made to minimize my luck, and then proceeded to roll... The worst dice I think either of us have seen in X-Wing, right? Eh. The, f the first half of that, at least, dice. was just so bad. It was just the worst. I, I, I can't... Or maybe I was just awesome. <sighs> eh. the, the science thing agrees, apparently. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, I'm going to save the game. <laughs> Right. Thank you and for watching. With the rebalance, they've made my builds cheaper and yours more expensive. <laughs> I hate you. Like, subscribe, and stay <laughs> shiny.